Um, okay, so very quickly, today's, let's turn that off. Is that a bit better? Um, today's, no, today's video is um, a little bit mad. The colours I've chosen are slightly insane. However, if you wait till the end of the video, I have kind of redone them in a different colour that is less insane. So at the end of the video, just let me know which colours you preferred. Let me know which, yeah, blue and green or like the peachy i don't know the other color okay let me know <laughs> it's crazy let's go i do hope you're prepared for this <laughs> right the colors that i'm using for the first thing are i'm using pudding gels madam glam sending me pudding gels and i very 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 i don't think i've even used them um so i'm going to use celeste blue which is this one it's beautiful and i'm also going to use this one which is the mint one can't remember what the name was oh i love that so much i can't tell you how much i love it uh, and then i'm going to use the cow decals from nail sugar um you can get 50 percent off madam glam all throughout march using my code nat mug 50 so if you can't if you haven't got paid yet wait till the end of the month and treat yourself because oh my gosh i love a discount uh, and 10% off nail sugar using my code natmug10. The links and descriptions will be down below anyway. Uh, right, so I am going to just blend the two colours together using the application brush. Now with these ones, obviously, they need to be, you need a brush to apply this. Sorry, it was a bit blurry. Um, but yeah, you're going to need, and also, the only thing that I'm not too keen on pudding gels is they don't self-level. And it has its advantages, but then at the same time, I think when I'm applying it to the nail, I like it to go smooth. So I did have a little bit of a faff and a fiddle. But I've done, I popped that in the lamp and then I've done two coats of that. And the pudding gels need 60 seconds in an LED lamp. Then I have decided that I wanted to use this gorgeous, beautiful cow. I love her so much. I've decided it's a she because she's got flowers on her head. Um then you turn it upside down onto your stamper and then you damp the back of the stamper with some water and then after several seconds it will just slide off pardon me that was a hiccup and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill in the back of the decal with some white gel polish just to brighten it up because i don't want him to be too her to be two colors because i'm going to stamp it on my ombre she'll be green one side and blue the other so we're going to cover her with white gel polish only a thin layer cure it in the lamp and then you can stamp it onto your nail oh she looks so good i'm going to just cut off her ears oh poor cow and just a little bit at the bottom there we go and then what i decided to do was i grabbed tulips which is a pink gel polish put a little bit of that on your palette and using the dotting tool and the white that that is on the gel on the palette as well that is that is white that's perfect white from madam glam but we're gonna make some little we're gonna make some little flowers and we're gonna do like the i don't know it just didn't want to work it didn't want to work i don't know what i was doing i think it's because i wasn't using the gel paints the gel paints are easier to do this with but you know when you put like a blob of color down that's going to be the size and the shape of your rose and then you take your white and you mix that around in the middle of the gel polish and it just makes like a really easy rose well that's kind of what i was trying to go for but it just it didn't work so i'm, I'm going to pop this in the lamp to cure it then i'm going to do two more on the left and the right but this time i'm going to just do the 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 pink and then I'm going to I'm going to cure it in the lamp and then I'm going to go oh I've cured it I didn't do the little thingy the transition there um and then I'm look, I'm just going to add some little swells of white onto the uncured pink onto the cured pink and then it's just going to it's yeah however later on I do cover these up with some rosy posy glitter so don't worry too much about those <laughs> Then I decided to use um, Mahalo. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Mahalo, Mahalo, I don't know. Um, because in the flowers on her head and feeling pine as well, that's the green, um, she had some, there were leaves, and but there were little, little bits of blue in the flowers as well. 
and I don't know if I actually used my hollow in the end but I thought I'd just add some little tiny little bits of foliage coming out of the 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 roses just to add just to kind of make it look more like the flowers on her head that's that's all um I cured it in the lamp and then I will velvet matte top coat her I do add some little some bits of glitter onto the roses with base coat so do that before you top coat but I don't show you me doing that because it was honestly this video was such a pain in the bum to edit um there we go but she's looking gorgeous I love I love a I love a cow apart from when they they are quite scary mum and I got chased by some cows once and we had to climb this tree <laughs> It, the tree was massive but it was like um it had been like cut down so it was like on its side so we had to climb up this honestly it was hilarious afterwards at the time absolutely frightening <laughs> oh we do laugh about it even to today but i then um i then add two coats of the green to two nails and two coats of blue to one nail i haven't done that other second nail um but the then i'm using the white gel polish to make a french we're gonna turn the nails into french nails i know i don't know i just don't know i know and i don't know this set was just absolutely bonkers the colors the cows the the massive crystal cluster i love it but it was just what i just don't know so yeah <laughs> You've got to have a crazy set sometimes, haven't you? I'm going to do the same thing on the blue. So you can line the nails up to make sure that you've got your the French the same distance down the nail as the other one. Or you can just wing it like I did. I was quite lucky that it actually turned out. They turned out pretty level. But once I've done that, I'll put them in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to put some base coat around the smile line. And I'm going to bring it down ever so slightly. I've just defuzzed my face with a Hollywood browser and I feel like I've shaved. It feels horrible. Oh, I might have to go and put some cream on my face. Um, and then into the base coat, I am... This is, this is what happens when you're hairy and fuzzy. You have to basically shave your face. <laughs> I waxed my tash yesterday, but it didn't get off like all the fine ones. So I, I tell you what, it's a thing. It's a struggle. Um, yeah, so look, we're adding some... This is Rosy Posy Glitter from Nail Sugar. And we're adding some of this just around the smile line, just to make it look pretty. And then I'm going to pop it in the lamp. And again, I felt like the colour of the glitter just complemented the colour of her flowers on her head. And then also I thought, right, I'd put some... That's why I put some on, on the roses underneath her, because I just felt like it kind of tied everything together. Anyway, I am now velvet matte top coat in, and then I will shove in the lamp for 30 seconds. Now we're ready for the crystals. This is... Right. Uh, I deleted a video by accident, but I was showing you the crystal mix. So I'll put the crystal mix on the video. On the, on the the Yeah, I'll put the crystal mix on the screen. It's called Step Into Spring, and it's a Swarovski bumper mix. But I think there's Preciosa crystals in there as well. But some of the... I think the bigger crystals are Swarovski... A vintage Swarovski crystals, I think. I'm not sure. Um, but it will say on the website. But And you can get 10% off Crystal Parade now using my code NATMUG10. That is a further discount of 5% more than last time, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so what I done was there these there are some big crystals in this crystal mix. So I thought, right, I'm gonna this was a challenge, honestly. This was a push. So I've just managed to, with a little bit of glue, flash cure these crystals into place where I want them. Um, and then I ended up putting some more gem glue underneath them. And then I ended up as well putting this blue one on but i i don't know what happened to the footage it disappeared um i then put some extra gem glue can you see i'm putting blobs on and i'm just curing these bigger crystals into place <clears throat> this crystal i'm putting on now is really cool it's like clear but it's got pink through it's amazing i love it and then i'm gonna flash cure that and then what i would do is because this is a massive cluster take some gem glue um before you put the gem on the front just shove it all in there and just bring the gem glue up the sides of all the crystals just to make sure that they are fully like together and 
like you want them to be glued together this is a big cluster so it needs some reinforcing pop that in the lamp you might want to do it twice just to be on the safe side and then i've put a big blob there i put a big blob there and i've put this crystal on the blob but i was out of shot which was annoying and then i'm going to straighten it up and then i'm going to throw that into the lamp for a cure and this kind of thing you want to make sure your client like flash cure it on your client's hand but when your client puts it into the lamp make sure they're moving their hand their fingers around so that the light can get to all angles um and then i'm filling in i'm just going to fill in the gaps with some gem glue um crystal fix sorry the crystal fix is from crystal parade as well and i've just filled them all in with rose gold caviar beads then afterwards you're going to need to get some gel cleanse or isopropyl alcohol and just wipe over the crystals because trust me you're going to have fingerprints on those bad boys so there we go that is a massive whopping crystal cluster biggest one i've ever done anyway right this is the finished set in the blue and the green i'm going to show you in a minute the other color but let me know down below which is your favorite here we go ready there we are it's a little bit subtler <laughs> anyway i hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it is completely free i'm going to leave the websites and the discount codes below don't forget the madam glam discount code through march is natmug50 but down below it will probably say natmug30 but anyway i love you all god bless and i will see you in the next one yeah in the next one lovelies love you bye